Welcome back to another video folks. Um, I mentioned previously that I was doing some winter uh, armour um, and vehicles so this is the the bulk of it finished now. Um, as you can see there's a couple of platoons of Panzer IVs, an armoured car platoon, an aircraft platoon and also some Kubo wagons, uh, swim wagons sorry. Um, now they're all in various degrees of sort of distressed um, white wash, uh, camouflage, uh, they've all been uh, given three-tone three camo and then uh, the white wash has been put over it and I'll talk about that and how we did that when we have a look at the individual um, platoons and vehicles. So hopefully this is coming across okay, I know that um, white vehicles can be quite hard to actually video on and to um, to take photographs off. So yeah, there's two platoons of Panzer IVs um, I'll try and keep out of the, the light here. You can see, uh, let me see if I can bring one forward, and you can see the streakiness on the, um, the whitewash. You can see indications of the camo underneath, and there's further distressing visible. Uh, Effectively chipping off the whitewash, showing some Tunko Gelb underneath. Oops, and then you can see there. So it's not solid white. Solid white's a little bit characterless, a little bit dull. Um, and these are likely to be used in sort of spring type campaign. So they will be whitewashed, but They'll have seen quite a bit of service, so the whitewash has taken a bit of a beating. And basically I've been repeating that over all of these pans of fours. Take that turn off. Now when I did these panels on, on the engine decks, I've done them all differently. It's, it's almost like a form of modulation. Some solid white, some broken white, some with more camo showing through, and it helps give it a bit more shape. Can maybe see it on this one as well. You can see one, two, three, and then four, all done differently, and add some shape to the panel. Now there's the Panzer IVs. They've got quite a heavy white wash, quite a solid white wash. Spare track hammer, I thought after the winter, it's a very good chance it'll have been rusted, but also provides a good contrast as well with the solid white of the um, the whole colour. So there's a lot going on on these visually. Each one's really quite different. Right, and then we've got the two, three, four ones. Um, Armour car uh, platoon. I think these are going to be operating individually along with other vehicles um, when they're getting used to the games. Now these have got less solid whitewash. The tarps on the top are um, just very very basic, it's copped with some green stuff. Makes sense that they're covered up considering the weather conditions. And you can see there again the streakiness. With chipping effectively along the edges. That in itself helps just give a bit, a bit of shape to the um, 
to the vehicle as well. There's a good uh, sort of illustration of the worn look. Now even more worn is an aircraft platoon. You see it's got a really runny um, look to the whitewash. As if it's been drawn off through some heavy campaigning. There's some storage on the sides of these vehicles as well, just to give them a bit more character. And then the little swim wagons. Now these are individually based. Um, a friend of Penny's for is putting the platoons together in a certain way and the individual swim wagons will suit that. Uh, he also asked for some MGs to be fitted to match some historical photographs. I've got them put on the side with an X on in the back there. That's just a simple process of a little bit of green stuff with the MGs um, mounting point filed down a bit so that they can be um, stuck into the green stuff. And these are on muddy roads with a bit of um, snow which hasn't yet melted. The snow is Warlord Games, no it isn't, it's um, Army Painter Snow. Uh, I don't know if you, if it's any different but it's, it's quite good, it's a very very fine powder. You put a thin layer down, let it dry, then put another layer on top. You can let it dry again if you want even deeper snow but it's a good way to build up a bit of depth. So you can see there's a lot of streakiness to the way these have been painted. Um, now, this has all been done with acrylic paint. Um, painting with acrylics and streaking is really quite difficult because it dries so quick. So what I did was with these guys, I covered the surface in Fallegio Retarder Medium. It's, it's kind of like a gel. You've got to make sure you put it on like that. Don't water it down. Otherwise, you're really just going to be creating a wash. Uh, so, it takes several passes, so to speak, where I would put the retarder on, I would then paint a line, for instance, along the top edge of these um, engine hatches, and then I would draw it down, and I would work it until I was happy with it, I would then let it dry, and then I would do the same again. Um, it would take, for this level of uh, streaking, it would take uh, two attempts to do that. And then once it's dry, I would wash it and then I would start picking out some areas with um, some paint without any retarded medium. Some of it would get put on almost like a wash, some would be almost like a dry brush and some would be painted on. So it's a big mixture and it gives a nice varied look. You can see some of these softer areas on the back. That's been just a little bit of a wash put around the corner there. And you can see some blobs which is painted straight on and then painted straight on quite dry under these uh, hatches. And I took the same approach with everything, just putting on more or less coats uh, of whitewash to give a more or less worn look. The Panzer IVs had the, the greatest amount. Um, as you can see, it's still quite subtle in places. You can see right the way through that in many places. Um, but this, because of the bulk of them, they, this, they needed a bit more white. There you go. Hopefully that's coming across okay. I'm worried about videoing vehicles that are basically white, you know, because they're just going to get all shiny. 
that might give you some ideas for your own whitewashing. It doesn't have to be um, a chipped look, it can be a, a drawn look. Um, just basically so much things you can do when you're uh, winterising your vehicles, it's just lots of fun. But these guys will be off to fight in um, uh, campaigns in Hungary and who knows where else. Hey, thanks for watching folks, hopefully I have some more videos for you soon.